day one of our Zoom residential, we're about to meet online for the very first session. I'm very excited to see what we're going to make this week. I'm sure it's going to be really good fun. Hello everybody and welcome. Over the course of this week together, the plan is to learn, arrange, record and video some new music, working collaboratively online. Um, we'll also be working with a fantastic team of tutors and we'll be running workshops where we've got the opportunity to do some dancing, do some singing before we finish this week with a performance for the ensemble's friends and family all done online. So that's the plan for the week. Well, let's get cracking. Yeah, I'm actually really nervous. I'm not sure why. I think it's just going to be weird seeing everyone again. Um, on Zoom. Um, I'm quite sad that the residential hasn't happened because I really like seeing everyone in person. I've got builders next door. A bit noisy, <laughs> not ideal. So we're going to do very much the same as in April. I think it'd be nice for us to all just play along to February's gig again and get in the vibe, get in the zone of NYFE. Just finished the first session. Um, it was so nice to see everyone, catch up, play some games, play some tunes, just amazing. Today is day two on Zoom and we've just had a bit of a recording workshop with Rob so we can all record our instruments separately and send them in and we're going to make one big track together. I found this really difficult because I'm not the best at tech and but a lot of people had been struggling with the same issues as well. I was thinking like about like longer chord progression, like the chords are longer, so just doing like B minor, E minor, then B minor, D major. Well, if Ruby like plays the chords and then yeah. we can just record as we're doing like yeah, our own. Tablet has got this amazing low sound. We've just met Kuljit Bamra, an amazing Indian musician, and it's fascinating to hear his story through music growing up in Kenya and coming to England to produce Bangra music. Bangra music is an English invention, just, just you know, alongside fish and chips and chicken tikka masala. So it, it, it had to be invented here. It couldn't have been invented anywhere else. What I found particularly interesting and useful was his philosophies towards music, which could be applied to all genres, uh, and, and you know, including folk, which I think will be really helpful for the music that we're making as well. We did a clog dancing workshop with Grace today. Actually, the dances kind of can really inform the music that we're playing, like the rhythm and the the notes are so closely linked and we can kind of take inspiration from these pop dances and bring them into our music. We're doing a thing called Listening Club tonight, which I really, really, really love. Um, it's a really great thing where we all choose a track of music that we love. This Listening Club was really special because the last track that got played was our track that we've made this week and it was just so moving to see all the work that we've put in and just see that we've got a result. The phrase is going to be this, it's going to be on an R and we're just going to go ah. I've been really looking forward to doing this one-off song thing with you and my hope is that you can just relax into it, put your instruments down. We just had a really great singing workshop with Nancy Clare Gate this morning, so soon. I really grew up listening to her music and to have her teaching us and hearing how she thinks about the music and hearing her tips for us um, as well as her teaching us about fiddle and playing and stagecraft it's all been a really great experience. Hello everybody! Good afternoon and welcome to the first ever National Youth Folk Ensemble Online Festival. It's gig day today, um, which is really, really exciting. I uh, can't wait to share everything that we've done basically over the past year with friends and family on Zoom. I think it'll be a really nice thing to finish the year. Obviously, 
in normal circumstances we'd be playing at a festival, which, like, this can't really compare to that. I think it's it's not the same feeling, but it's really nice that we're getting to do something. I think to celebrate our year. Um, so yeah, bittersweet really. We've just finished the gig and it was really good. Um, I really enjoyed it. I feel absolutely shattered, but totally relieved that it all worked. A great bunch of young musicians. Super proud of everything they've managed to do and what they've managed to achieve this week is incredible. It's been a bumpy journey in many ways, but I can't think of a group of people that I would have liked to have taken this journey with more. So yeah, it went really well and I'm really happy. This is my last day ever as part of MYFV. Um, it's really, really sad. Um, it's just been the most incredible thing musically and socially. It's had such a huge impact on my life and it's just such an amazing thing. Um, really sad to leave. Um, but I've had an amazing time as part of the ensemble. <laughs>